It's your boy, Lankoy Warrior, Kamau, and I am back with another video. And in today's video, I am going to be reading from this book right here. My little sister bought me. Shout out to her in the chat that I am going to be reading. It's called A Cure for Doubt. Nathan's children loved the movie The Water Horse. Legend of the Deep, the movie is set in Scotland during World War II. And the main character, Angus Morrow is trying to cope with the dark fuck that his father, a soldier, is reported missing and presumed dead. He holds on to the hope that his dad will return soon. One day, Angus finds a large egg in a tight pool of darkness and hides it in the storage shed. An unusual but wonderful animal hatches from the egg growing so quickly. In size, that it reminds viewers of the faint lotless monster, but Angus monster becomes a gentle and faithful companion and protector. The boy wasn't sure what he found when he picked up the egg from the water, but what he got turned out to be beyond his comprehension. Faith, we all claim that our faith. And something faith in God, but we if we were really honest with ourselves, the faith we tend to embrace and live by is typically focused or limited, if you will, to a thing, something we have faith in. For example, it could be in a person or a career, perhaps. It is in a particular church setting or a pastor, perhaps it's in our ability, for example, the faith athletes have in their ability to perform at the highest levels. We may state or believe that these are all gifts from God and therefore our faith is in Him and His provision too often though. It is only lip service because when the things are taken away, then the true object or substance of our faith is exposed. There have been times when I have not felt God at work in my life. Has he ever felt distant to you? There have been times when I began wondering about what shape my faith was in and then it hit me. True faith in God still believes in God even when I don't feel, hear or see God. You see true faith still believes when all the things of life are gone. What do you have faith in? Is it something or an amazing God?